What's up guys and girls, it's Brian here with Portable Generator Services. This is a video for any of you guys and girls that want to start your own business in the uh, trade industry. There's a very specific way that you need to start your business or you probably 90% won't make it. What is that? Well, it's called working at the job you're currently at while you do your side hustle and build up your clientele. Super important. You cannot just work at an electrical company, quit your job, make an electrical business on Google and think you're gonna have calls of and work coming in. You will not. You have to, have to, have to work somewhere while you build your, your business. So you're gonna work double time. You're gonna be working Monday through Friday, eight in the morning till four in the afternoon, whatever that time is. And then after work, you're gonna be working on your new business. You're gonna make a Google business account. Be very wise when choosing your business name. If you choose something that is searched frequently, you will get more results and more people will, cl will click your Google business link. Same with your website. For example, if you go on Google and you type in electrical phrases most searched on Google, it's gonna say, for example, electrical company near me, electrical company repair near me. Make your business name electrical company repair. Electrical repair, LLC. Even though it might not sound catchy, it's more catchy than let's say Brian's Electrical Store. Um, you want to be searched as easy as possible and as free as possible. I don't pay for advertisement. Why do I get pit calls all the time? Because my business name, Portable Generator Services, is one of the top three most searched phrases on Google for generators. Portable generator repair near me is one of them. Portable generator company is one of them. The next thing you need to do, call your family, your friends, any neighbors you've done work for. When you build your Google business page, get reviews. Reviews are the most important thing your business could benefit from. Without reviews, you will not get customers unless you're paying for leads and calling them. And even then, they're gonna wanna look up your business. And if they don't see good reviews, you're out of the game. Let's just say they've got electrical, uh, Billy's Electrical Repair Company with two reviews. One's a three star and one's a four star. And then they got my business, Portable Generator Services, with 130 reviews, all five star with a 4.9 rating, they're choosing me any day. Obviously, if my pricing is way too high, they won't use me. But in simple terms, to have an even fighting chance, you have to have reviews, bottom line. If you have any questions, give me a, a shout out, right? All right, any questions, I'll help you out. That's what I did. I was working at a company, then I started doing my own thing on the side, building up reviews, and then once I was getting enough calls to where I wanted to take that leap and go on my own fully, you gotta take that leap. It's not all fun and games. I have been scared sometimes where I finish all my jobs and I have no upcoming jobs. What do you do? Well, you hustle. You, you figure shit out. You reach out to people. You ask to do more work, whatever. Jobs just come in. They smoothly come in too. Um, but just getting back to, it's really not all fun and games. There is a lot of stress in owning your own business. <coughs> Like I said, if you have any questions, give me a call or post it, write it, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you all have a good day.
This is Brian. I'll catch you on the next one.